you very much for allowing uh, me to be here, to be here with the uh, other candidates, potential <coughs> candidates for governor. I also want to uh, extend my thanks to you. Uh, a few years ago, when I first ran for governor, you were very kind. I will not forget the kindness that was extended to me by the people of Hartford. I can assure you uh, that uh, your welfare and the welfare of your great city is first and foremost on my mind. I'm going to take a slightly different tact. Uh, in talking to you about uh, who I am and what I am. Uh, because who I am is less important <coughs> actually than the future of Hartford. Now what you need to understand about me is that I've been a mayor of a major city in the state of Connecticut for 14 years. And in the last 14 years we lowered crime 64%, making Stanford one of the 10 safest cities in America eight years in a row. In a state that hasn't created jobs, we created jobs. In a state that hasn't built housing, we built over 5,000 units of housing and require that 10% of all new multifamily housing be set aside as affordable workplace housing. There's something you can get behind. During the same period of time, we rebuilt our school system. We improved our test scores. We lowered the class size. We hired teachers, trained teachers, empowered teachers, and did the same for principals. And it is making a difference. I want to talk to the people of Hartford about what the people of Hartford want. Now, if any governor does that, it'll be the first time in a long time that that's happened. I will not take a paternalistic approach to the future of Hartford. You decide what's best for, you, for Hartford. I will not come to your town and say I'll build a science center because I think that's best for you. I want to know what the people of Hartford think is what's best for them. If you want a trolley system or a mass transit system or you want the Griffin Line or you want extensions to other communities, then that's what we should be building in this town. I will not uh, be a top-down manager. I'll never tell you that if I bring a, a football team to the next town over, somehow you're going to benefit. The reality is Hartford needs help. Your per capita taxes in 19, uh, excuse me, in 2006 was $1,675 per person in one of the cities with the absolute lowest per capita earnings in the state. That is an unacceptable burden which has been placed on you. The reality is, is too many properties in this town are tax exempt. You don't get the revenue for them and you're not getting a fair share of the revenue. Let me tell you something else that Hartford needs. It needs a partner in rebuilding education. This year alone, because of this governor's failures and other failures that have occurred, uh, our schools across the state opened up their doors with 1,200 fewer teachers. 99, over 8% of that total reduction was in one city alone. Can you name it? Of course you can, because you live in it. Yes. It's unacceptable. It's particularly unacceptable because for the first time in a number of years, you've had back-to-back -back games. You're making progress, and what does this governor do? And what does this state government do? It pulls the rug out from you just when you're pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, just when you're getting the act together and improving test scores, what does this state do? It requires you to lay off 99 teachers, a total of 250 people from your Board of Education. It is unacceptable to expect progress in a community when you don't have a partner. Now, when you decide, when you decide who you're going to support amongst us, I posit that you will be deciding who the Democratic nominee will be. And when you decide who the Democratic nominee will be, you'll be electing or deciding who the governor of the state of Connecticut will be. Do you want to have somebody who understands the meaning of the word partnership? Do you want to have a, a, a leadership of a person who's helped to rebuild the city? Do you want to have a partner who believes in housing and education and job creation? Finally, let me tell you this, that if I'm governor, we're going to stop pulling jobs out of Hartford. The idea that part of this state's economic development plan is to move companies from Hartford to outlying areas that used to be farmland makes no sense at all. Paying them millions and millions of dollars to locate outside of Hartford makes no sense at all. Let's be partners with Hartford. That's why I want to be governor, and I wouldn't run for governor if I wasn't prepared to be your partner, and I wouldn't be asking for support unless I'm prepared to lead and prepared to work with you. Thank you very much, God bless you.